Hello again, it's time for another multimeter video. Now in the last video we looked at this, the $15 smartphone meter, tested that, and we also looked at these two $5 GP multimeters, tested them. But the tests we did were actually quite basic, we didn't look at anything like uh, input impedances, burden voltages, battery consumption, you know, stuff like that. All the important factors when choosing a multimeter. So this week I got a chance to take this one along to the City of Arts and Sciences to do some more in-depth testing. How well did it do? Let's find out. survived the water test. Not a problem. working <laughs> yep still working Well, here it is, and no sign of life. 
Is it the end of the road for this meter? Let's get it on the workbench, find out. So here it is, and from the front it doesn't actually look too bad. Uh, well, there's a few scrapes on it here. There's a bit of mud from where it fell in the river. But most of the damage is down here at this bottom corner. It looks like it hit something sharp there, and that's bashed the casing. You know, this corner's split open. And the main problem is that these two posts here, where the screw holds are to hold the case on, and you know, this is where the screws are, these two posts have completely snapped off. These are supposed to be over there, and the case you know, just fell apart. And if we look in there, I think you can still see the screws down at the bottom. So there's nothing to hold it together. And apart from that, look, there's um, these two tabs at the top where it holds the case together, and it's lost one of those. Um, oh, that's broken. There, yeah, one of those. That's the post that holds this in position. And, oh, a bit of loose plastic there. And apart from that, it doesn't look too bad. And the thing that's actually taken the most damage is this, the battery. Uh, it's a bit hard to see on camera, but if I get the light to reflect off it just right, you can see it's bashed in there, it's bashed in down this edge. It's got a big dent on the top, right there. You know, on this edge, look at that. And one, two, three. And these actually correspond to parts of the meter. Um, this line here, for example, is where it was touching that post. This down here is where it was touching the transistor tester. And on this side, that huge dent there is where the meter hit whatever it hit. Got bashed in and down this edge. Uh, if we look at the back of the case, you can see this is kind of before, after, and this is completely flattened. And I think that was actually the battery hitting against there. Squashed that post, yeah, left the battery in this state here. And if I can get the light just right, uh, hang on, no, yeah, here we go. That big dent there on the back, I think, was from this dimple in the back of the case. That was hitting that, caused that. And the dead giveaway is, if you shake it, it rattles. It's not supposed to do that. So I think we might have actually broken the battery. So what do you think? Do you think if I change this battery for this one, this meter might actually still be alive? Well, let's find out. Moment of truth. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, this meter is still alive. Now let's take a reading. I've got a 4.7K resistor here. Four point seven. Yep, it's working. Now I'm not gonna call this meter rugged, but it did survive the water test, it went on an awful lot of stairs. It did several 3 meter drop tests, and all that broke was the battery. And you could glue this back together, put some tape around it, wipe the mud off, and you've got yourself a working multimeter. Amazing. So there you have it. I now declare this meter well and truly tested. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up down below. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.